So hi, I'm Ashraf. So this in this tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set an isometric camera. Okay, first I have no walls. I need to create one. Just go and add cube. Okay, you make the cube big. I go to edit mode. Select vertices, vertex. Select this one vertices and delete vertices. Okay, now so this wall is very thin, so I need to add some modifiers. What we call as uh, sorry, this one okay, called solidify modifiers. Okay, add solidify, and then you increase the thickness to zero point zero five. So now I have a thick wall all over. All right then object mode and adjust this bring the balls here yep. put the balls over there okay just random positions and the books shelf and books is somewhere there and let's make sure it touch the ground okay so now, now what I have to do, I'm going to delete this camera. I add new camera, shift A, camera. Okay, where's my camera? Uh -huh. It's over there. So now, press 0. Okay, press 0. Go to the camera properties here. Okay change the type from perspective okay to orthographic okay again zero and then you move so. So, uh, add new camera okay and then this camera I'm going to pull aside press that okay press G somewhere here mm -hmm. okay somewhere there from top view somewhere here okay I'm going to increase a bit there and then press zero okay so it's still not there okay so you change the type of camera here okay to from perspective to orthographic so now you have that and what you have to do is just gz okay so you can see that Okay, maybe just yep, and then we change the orthographic scale. You improve, you increase to be that. Yep. So this is this is how your auto orthographic will look like. Mm -hmm. So this is your camera view, lens view. This is your object in orthographics positions okay now try to press f tough to render so this is the render of your object okay uh, i have do some tricks here this lamp you select the lamp you change from point to sun and you reduce the strength to five okay re-render f -tough. Right. What else? Yep. You would and disable the shadow. Yep. Oh, you want to add the shadow? Just uh, change the maybe this one. Change to ten. Remember again. Nope. That's it. Right. It's thirty. Okay, yep, something like that. Okay. 
Oh, you can change the angles. Let's see. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then you go to this world. Okay. World properties. And you change the color of surface from the background, the color from black. Okay, this is the default You're using black. Okay, black, so you will have black environment color. So you change to increase to a little bit gray, light gray. So now you have this kind of looks. Okay, what else? So also you can change, you can add ambient occlusion if you want but I'm not suggested for now yep mm -hmm. and then this output resolutions this change to 80 so this will be fit for Instagram okay again I think this scale you can change okay. yeah like that Okay, render. Yeah, so it will be much closer. If you that properties, perspective also can have that kind of looks. Okay, maybe you can change the focal unit to thirty nine. Well, let's say thirty five. Mm -hmm. And then you render. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, right. So this is an isometric as well. So, but for me, I'm going to use the auto. But auto doesn't have. I don't like this shape. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm just using the perspective. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn down a the bit dark for the background. F12. Okay. Or you can go here, render, render image. So from this image, you can save the image. Image, save as JPEG. Okay, asymmetric render two. Okay, I'm going to save in my folder. So this is the folder. Yep, this is the first one. This is the second one. And then from this, you can yeah, render or not. You can print. Okay, so I want to add. At a bit here, thickness I want to add to 0.15. Okay, so, but then it's have taken my okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for today. This is basic isometric camera setup. Oh. Yep. Yeah. All right. Image. Save as the JPEG. The trip. Okay. That's it for today. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.